So I decided to go see X-Men Dark Phoenix, even though the trailer looked like garbage. I figured, you know what, I've seen every X-Men movie in the theater, let me go check it out. So, it was actually worse than I thought it was going to be, to be quite honest. Now, this is going to contain spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers, uh, go watch the video. So, let's proceed. So, this movie was an absolute mess. Um, Professor Xavier was made to look like a complete idiot in this movie. And the movie is basically Mystique being very condescending towards him. And then once she gets killed, thankfully she got killed, but once she gets killed, then it's Beast being very condescending towards him. And um, it's just really, really, really bad, man. The special effects weren't good either. You had like these generic villains, like they were... They were some alien race. Apparently, this is the alien race that the Phoenix Force had wiped out in the comics. Uh, wasn't a a very known uh, group of characters. Um, so they were the villains, and they could kind of shape shift. They could take human form, and if they just get close to you, they kill you. But they had no none of them had any sort of personality to them, and they never mentioned the word Phoenix Force. It's kind of a joke, like uh, Cyclops mention, mentions to Jean Grey that, oh, the kids are calling you the Phoenix because you, you know, rose from the dead or whatever because she was out in space. Uh, Mystique was very annoying for the short period of time that she was in the movie. She was, like, like I said, <clears throat> talking to Xavier like he was garbage. Uh, Xavier didn't act like Xavier in this movie at all. They made him like he was kind of like, you know, a celebrity and... It kind of re reminded me of what Rob Zombie did to the character of Dr. Loomis in the Halloween 2 remake. How they completely changed the character and it was garbage. A uh, very similar thing. Uh, that, that's exactly what I thought of. Um, Beast was like, Beast was annoying. He, after Jean Grey accidentally kills Mystique, then he just wants to kill her. So there's that. And then he goes and tries to team up Magneto to kill her and... I'll say one thing. Michael Fassbender is a great actor. Um, it's sad that the, he got he got uh, he got completely wasted um, in this movie, and I felt like in the last movie, in Apocalypse, he got wasted too. I thought he was good in First Class, and he was also good in um, Days of Future Past, <clears throat> which was a great movie. I actually rewatched it today. Great movie. But um, let's see what else can we talk about in this movie? Uh, this very very forgettable movie, which nothing really happened. Um, like I said, the special effects weren't good. The guy that played Cyclops was was awful the acting in this movie was really bad uh there wasn't really much emotion that the sophie turner she can't play a lead role at least not yet she doesn't really have the acting chops that was a terrible choice to have her in the lead role in this movie you know she was i don't know if it was the script or, i think it was her too it was the script and her she's i don't think she's that a great of an actress i don't think she has that much range at least from what i've seen um and overall it was just a really bad movie and they actually, uh, they stole the the ending of the uh, the original Hulk movie that came out, uh, Ang Lee's Hulk, where the Hulk is fighting his father, and he's like, you want my power? Take it all. And then this guy dies. They basically did that when um, when Jean Grey was fighting the uh, the alien girl, the blonde alien girl. She's like, you here's all of the power, like if she wanted it or whatever. And then they went up into space and they blew up and... You're led to believe that Jean Grey died, but then she kind of became like the Holy Ghost, and she does like uh, she's talking and she's saying how she sur she has passed humanity or something. I, I don't I don't know what the hell was going on. At the end of the movie, they also um, named the school the Jean Grey School, so it's not Xavier's school anymore. It's Jean Grey's uh, school because you know because women women you know girl power and you got to be woke. And uh, I'll say I'll say something too. The the the, the wokeness wasn't that heavy handed, and the whole feminist propaganda wasn't that heavy handed, but it was there, and you saw it with um, the way Mystique was talking to uh, to Xavier. You definitely saw it in that, but it really wasn't that heavy handed. And that that's that scene with Mystique saying we should change the name to um, to the X Women because they're always saving the men. That's after that's right after um, Quicksilver and. Um, Quicksilver and Night and Nightcrawler just you know saved a bunch of the astronauts. So I guess you forgot about that part. But that 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 scene was very very cringe. You know, as I I stated in another video, and um, 
I also want to say they really wasted Quicksilver. You know, Quicksilver was one of the standouts in the last two movies and in Apocalypse and in Days of Future Past. He had his, you know, he had his moment to shine. In this movie, he really doesn't do anything. Like he 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 helps in the spaceship scene. And then when they have the showdown with uh Gene Gray versus or or Phoenix versus the X-Men, he gets taken out and then he's gone for the rest of the movie. So what a complete waste of that character. So anyway, uh, those are just my thoughts. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe. It's Mike from Bensoners. Keep banging.